Good morning, everybody. We've had an morning. eventful morning. Yeah. So we got up at like six. Sarah was editing because we're going to meet Jill and James at Animal Kingdom to try to go on some Pandora rides. And I went to the post office that early to uh, send out 75 button packages. So it was a fun morning. It was definitely, uh, we're very lucky to have that, that, that business coming in. So thank you if you enjoyed the buttons uh, from Playing Crazy. Even enjoyed my shoelace. <laughs> but we had, before we leave, we wanted to do a little quick mini mail time. It's our first like mail time because we had a really nice uh, gift that we haven't opened yet or looked through yet from two of our friends, Eddie and Sean. Uh, they're from Houston. You may see them in the comments down below, but we just want to say thank you in advance for uh, what we have here, but let's, let's dive in. See. Okay. So first, there's this really sweet card. Well, that says to oh. Sarah. Yeah. Oh, it's Houston. Oh. They obviously went through a very hard hurricane, so it was nice to kind of like sympathize during the time. We'll read that after. They included a bunch of pictures of them from trips. Oh, how nice. Wonderful. Okay. This one's to me. Ooh. Are you joking me? <laughs> I thought... I see one part of it. I see, I see something that we are obsessed with. Oh my god. Look at those ears. I am speechless. Route 66, <laughs> Minnie Mouse ears. That is amazing, and their headbands. So Can you rock them with today's Animal Kingdom vibe, or are we gonna have to wait for maybe tomorrow or another day? I don't know, I'm gonna wear them and see how I feel. They're comfy. They're comfy, I know sometimes headbands give you headaches, but the right kind, you rock them all day long. Cool. Those are amazing. And they just gave information on where they got the ears from. Perfect. Okay. What do we have going on here? Oh, I think this was for me. Houston blend coffee. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm just sitting here thinking how we got up so early and I have yet to have my cup of joe. It contains real coconut flakes. Oh my god. We're making this tomorrow morning. Thank you. So taste of Texas. Funny story about Texas. My family actually lived in Texas in, I think, yeah. Houston. Yeah. My older brother was born there in 87. Okay, what is going on here? These are heavy. This is to you. Well, this is for me. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Two Peter. Look at that little Mickey. I love it. That looks like it's going to be real tasty. Mark's Lone Star Certified Good Stuff Chicken and Ribs Barbie Sauce. Hand Ooh. Can we have that on like Monday or oh Tuesday night? Oh my gosh, night? yes. So unexpected. I'm like <laughs> right now. I know. I this was so nice of you too. Is that some salsa? We love some good old salsa. And it's from Texas. Texas salsa. We drove through Texas on Route 66, and it was it was one of our favorite states. Yeah. But I already opened this up and Sarah didn't see me. But this <laughs> is amazing. So these are Mickey Mouse cufflinks. No, you there we go. That. There you go. Look at those Mickey Mouse cufflinks. Oh my god. So, I don't know if, you got, if I've ever mentioned before how much like I love cufflinks and like dapper dressy up things and we're so excited to live down here we can actually go to dapper day and I do have to dress up professionally for work so like this is perfect because it's per business professional with a little hint of Disney. So I love these. Thank you so much. I've never even seen these before. Oh my god. We are. I'm blown away. We are so thankful. Thank um, you. You did so not have to much. at all. But we love it all. We'll make sure we read the card and look at the pictures. We yes. just want, don't want to put that on the on the vlog before we read that ahead of time. But thank yeah. you so much. We'll let you know. Well, I mean, we'll show you in our vlogs how we enjoy all this stuff. Yeah. But thank you so much. And this is insane. We're blown away. And now let's go Can celebrate. You this? Yeah. You think you go where? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's gonna wear these. I all. wore black shoes, so it's like. Oh, it goes. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go to Pandora. All right, everybody. We found James. We found Jill. Supposedly, the journey is 150 minutes right now, but we're both like Avatar fans. So, I said it last time when we first went out. We waited two hours. I'd wait it again. So it's 9:30. We're gonna get some coffee. Gonna get some snacks, and we're gonna wait it out. Yep. 
It's worth gonna, it. It is worth it. And he, I can't wait for him to like see the caves and all the other pieces of it. I can't wait. We've never been here during the, during the morning, and the line was ridiculously long. But look at these drummers. like 9 40 40 minutes after park open there's the entrance to pandora here is the end of the river journey they said it was three hours and we are waiting in that line i'm just going to get coffee while the other three wait in line but this is the line it goes this way and this way and this way and that way that way. Alright, I think it's like 1020. And I'm gonna find the rest of my party because it took like 35, 40 minutes for me to get my coffee. Because I couldn't find a place. I'm particular when I'm in the parks. I actually like to drink Joffrey's coffee. More than Starbucks, I can go to Starbucks whenever I want. You can't go find a Joffrey's anywhere in the world. So I always drink Joffrey's, even though some people say Starbucks is like a million times better. It's a matter of opinion. I love Joffers. But it took forever to find a place in Animal Kingdom that's open this early that sells it. And I just kept walking past the Starbucks and I was like, should I get in line? Should I get in line? I was like, no. No, it's worth it. And I waited for the, I forgot what it was called, but it's in Harambe where you can get the hot breakfast wraps. And uh, I just waited in line there. And it took like 20 minutes for me to get my coffee, but I got it. Now I gotta find these people where they are in line. The line is so long that they're giving themed entertainment throughout it. Look at this is this is the path. We're still like over two hours away, and this is coming towards us, going all the way around the corner here, and over this bridge. We're not even in Pandora right now. We're, I, I consider us in Harambe. We've been in line for like almost an hour, and now we're over in this. We're almost in the real queue. This is like a little, this we're is, no now. we're not, we're almost. Kind of, but we're in the theme land now. The queue, I can see the front of the queue right there. We're, we're, they're holding off the road to get us across this. We are in the queue. Alright, it is official, an hour and a half into it. We are in the actual queue. We're in it, here's part of the ride. Part of the ride. It's not, it hasn't been bad because there's so much detail and so many different things to look at in the queue. Um, in my ear. She loves them. We're like, what, two and a half hours into the line? It's moving two quickly. Two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours and 15 minutes. We're in like the like bunker area, but there's a nice water fountain with a water bottle filler upper. So, I'm gonna top off. We just hit the three hour mark because we still got some more time to go. We've been in line for three hours. These two Pandora fans right here are experiencing this for the first time. I don't think I'll ever I don't think I'll ever get used to it. It's just incredible. Like you can see the muscles move and the hair and it's just that's real. It's real. Okay. Right here is the merging point for Fast Pass and Standby. We've officially made it. And I love this room. I don't know why. Because it's awesome. It is. We've got this map right here showing where all the drivers are for the Banshees. And this beautiful mural. Here we go. We're, we're Banshees 9 through 12? Yeah. We've made it, guys. It's Super. It is. It is the strangest ride sequence thing ever. You will be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. 
Almost. Yes, got it. Okay, I said it last time, I'm gonna say it again. I think that's my favorite ride of all time. James? Jill? It was amazing. That's probably the best ride ever. ever. It is. <laughs> it is. It is a whole different, it's a whole, it's a new, I don't even, I can't even, I can't even. Please describe it, it's just magic how to go do it. We just waited three, over three hours for it, was it worth it? Three hours, worth every minute. See, I told you. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we, we got, I think it's called, what is it called? The Satuli Canteen, it's the quick service restaurant in Pandora. And we got the cheeseburger bao. It comes with vegetable chips and vegetable slaw. And then the beef bowl with multi-grain rice, I believe, and vegetable slaw with the chimchurri sauce. Um, the pods were $11, the bowl was $13, so it was just over $25 for the both of them. There's a lot of seating in here, but there are a lot of people in here, so the food must be good. So, what is this? Swatuli? Satuli. Satuli. Canteen. Canteen. I don't remember anything. It was really good. We got the, the cheeseburger pods or bows, and then the bowl. The bowl was very flavorful. It was very filling. The pods were good too. I just think the bowls were better. Yeah, we would come back for the bowls. But they were really filling, which is hard, which is like something to think about when you're getting food in this one. It was really good. Definitely come back. I made the dire mistake of not bringing a hat or my sunglasses today. But I think we're going to kill some time before our safari and we're going to go through uh, Gorilla Falls. Is that what this thing is called? Yeah. Gorilla Falls Exploration Trails. Well, that was a fun time. Those girls were amazing. Jill was in her element. Yes. Jill just needs to get stuck in the savanna with like perpetual cool body with H2O and just to get to watch animals all day long. Yep. But we're topping off our visit at Animal Kingdom with a safari. Can't get any much better. I don't think we've done like a midday safari in forever. We usually do like a nighttime now or right at park open, so it should be good. I said, but if you look to your right side first, the back left corner, there's no copy. The farther we go up here, we're gonna lose it. So right side, back left corner, the old copy. Despite its zebra pits and lace, it is a member of the giraffe family. And then the ones with the lighter gray coats here on the left, these are female greater kudu. They have two five. Look at all these vultures. Let's see if we can get another view of these. They have bones that were up here. You don't actually swim. Oh, you go to the very yeah. bottom. You don't walk on one. We just gotta get a little bit closer to everything first. Looks like the first animals we are gonna see are gonna be the Maasai giraffe. There's some hanging out in the trees there, but not the best view.
they're not an animal kingdom anymore. We got Eve's nails clipped and we decided to... We were trying to get her groomed but they didn't have anything available. Yeah, so we're gonna go to like the groomers that like our friends have told us about. We'll set that up. But her nails are, are nice and short and taken care of, so that's good. But we are in a very exciting place we've never been to before. And I only went into it in, in a glimpse when I went to get sandbags for the hurricane. And that is celebration. And I didn't even realize there was like a downtown celebration. So we just drove through the streets, which remind parts of the, some of the streets remind me of the small neighborhood called Beverly in Chicago on the south side where we used to live near. And it's like, these houses are beautiful and this neighborhood is beautiful. Sorry, do we have Market Street Gallery? I don't know if that looks familiar to me. Maybe. But we wanted to go see if there was like what the shops were and the food or the situation was because I think like this is we could buy a house in celebration one day. Eatery. I think we could buy a house in celebration, don't you think? Yeah. I think that's where we're gonna end up. So if you wanna be neighbors one day, move to celebration because we're moving there. Oh my god guys. First of all, there is this place called Cafe de Antonio, which looks amazing. But look at this horse and carriage. This is where everyone says to go. Celebration Town Tavern. Where? Oh, over here? Yeah. Here's Celebration Town Tavern. Look at this cute sign. Fenway Park, Kelly's Landing, Casual Conversations. I have something to say. Yes? We're moving here when we buy a house. What do you think? There's so many stores that she could go into. There's a whole dog store. She's too poised now. And She's the, literally avoiding me. <laughs> <laughs> and there was so many other dogs and a pizza place and an Italian market with Italian goods and everything good. <laughs> Guess what we just ordered? A pint of big ale. <laughs> no, this is a Red Bull for sale. In but isn't this cup so cool? This Teresa cup gave is it to super us. cool. Sorry, my eyes, I had an allergic reaction to my it own is dog. Big L's, a gift from Teresa. And in 40 minutes, I'm going to go pick up a delicious deep dish pizza. Because you know what? <laughs> I think like the second I got handed my Florida State ID or Florida State driver's license, I, I, need, I need deep dish. <laughs> they took my Chicago license away. So we're getting deep dish pizza tonight. And Eve is stressed. I hope it's good. She gets stressed out sometimes when she's in the car. I don't know why she was so good driving down from Illinois to Florida. But every other time she's in the car, she gets super stressed out. And then when she comes home, she just like passes out. My legs are destroyed from her like little feet. But that was because we, we had to get her nails cut. And her nails are cut now. Great. And I gave it about 10 minutes before she falls asleep. I got the pizza. And we got the chips. So if we're hungry after the pizza, which I don't know how it would be. We're gonna try the, the salsa from Eddie Look and Sean. Chicago girl. Oh no no no! You Look at this romantical setup we have for this pizza though. Look at I didn't even plan it, but look at these candles on the leaf. Ooh, with your big ale mug. <laughs> Nothing's more romantic than big ale. Look at that deep dish. Oh my goodness! Let's devour it all. We're two people. But she <laughs> is going nuts right now for it. She wants it so bad. Come on, I'll give you a treat. Go away, Peter. What did it eat? Oh no. It's late. We were sleepy. We recommend the Gaga documentary. We recommend The Office. Do we watch anything else? We recommend any Disney movie. As well as... Deep Dish Pizza. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. That's another good one. And we're going swimming tomorrow. Blizzard Beach style. So with that... It's good to be it's home. It's good to be home. Uh, we wanted to thank everybody who stayed until the end of yesterday's vlog and watched all the way through the end. And everybody who let us know down in the comments the favorite snacks. There's a lot of good snacks. And it makes me hungry just reading all the comments. But our winner of our, of our little secret giveaway is going to be Disney for Life. So thank you everybody for participating in the giveaway. And we will be reaching out for Disney for Life to uh, get in touch about how we can get you our snack pack um, button pack from this past month at plaincrazybuttonclub.com. Thank you. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.